I'm here with Martha Moore from PFLAG. Thank you so much for joining us today, Martha. Thank you. Uh, so can you tell us about what PFLAG does in our community, please? Um, Greater Boston PFLAG provides a number of services, and I am just the Reading support group, and I run a support group here in Reading that meets on the second Thursday of every month, and we provide support for families and allies and people who are gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, and questioning. Great. Uh, so what kind of programs do you run in the community? One-to-one um, -one outreach, what, what types of activities do you run? Me personally, I just run the support group. Okay. But Greater Boston PFLAG has a phone call you can call, a uh, helpline, and they also have a system where you can get connected up to other people with similar situations to yours and you can find all that information out at their website which is gbpflag.org. Excellent. So what does the support group, what does it focus on here in Reading? Um, what, what kind of, uh, how, how can people find out about it I guess? Okay, well you can go to gbpflag.org and it has the times of all the support groups in the whole greater Boston area and we're on that list. Um, you can also email me at readingpflag at gmail.com and I can reply to that email and send you information on when our meetings are. As I said, it's the second Thursday of every month. It's at 7 p.m. and it meets in Loring House, which is on the campus of the Unitarian Universalist Church of Reading. Okay. And people come with questions. They come to pick up brochures, borrow books and videos and have a chance to talk to other people and share their stories. Is this open to everyone in the community? Yes. So all, all ages, I guess. Is um, it's really adults. It's okay. not for kids. Okay. Um, and there are also other support groups nearby. There's one in Andover that is specifically for transgender people. And then there's another one in Andover that is sort of generic the way the one in Reading is. Anybody can come to this one or the one of the two in Andover. And do you have any alliances within the community, any other groups that um, you join up with for events or uh, anything like that? <laughs> um, we've worked closely with the Gay Straight Alliances at the high school Great. and the middle school a little bit, Great. but mostly at the high school. Mm -hmm. Um, so would you mind just running through your contact information again just so that people can get it? <laughs> sure. Um, it's www.gbpflag.org. Or you can call the phone number, which is 866-GBPFLAG. Um, and those will connect you with support uh, yes. institutions. Great. Yeah. Uh, you did bring some brochures here. Would you give, a, give me a little oversight on what you've got? Sure. Um, the brochures are just ones produced by PFLAG. This is Our Sons and Daughters, Faith in Our Families. That one's for um, welcoming transgender family and friends. This one is just called Be Yourself. And then we have a um, study that was done um, showing that the most supportive families produce the healthiest children. Oh, and some tips for families on how to be supportive of their children. And this is just a card which has a list on the back of all the services available through PFLAG. And you can pick these up at those support groups yes. at the Loring House? Yes. All of these are available at Loring House on the second Thursday of every month at great. 7 p.m. Great. Thank you so much for being a part of Organization Night. This is a great service that the town provides, so thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you.